So it looks like Tiffany Haddish has reached a settlement with the two accusers in that very weird and strange video that she did. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So this Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears video and lawsuit came to light while I was away. So I never really got a chance to cover it in detail. I spoke about it briefly covering another story, another legal case. Well, now it seems as if Tiffany Haddish is in the clear because she has reached a settlement. No word on what Aries Spears is doing. He's probably still negotiating some sort of settlement. But I'm sure by now you have seen clips from this very odd, strange, weird video a skit that was meant to be funny with these children. So let me get into what Radar Online is reporting now because Tiffany Haddish, who has the most to lose of these two uh, comedians, has reached a settlement. So according to Radar Online, they said Tiffany Haddish and the two alleged victims who sued her for SA, as you know, have reached a deal to block the public from seeing the original complaint According to court documents, the comedian and the two accusers suing her and Aries Spears worked out an agreement privately. So you may recall a Radar Online previously reported earlier this month, Haddish and Spears were sued by two siblings who used the pseudonyms John and Jane Doe in this lawsuit. The two said that their mother was friends with Haddish for most of their life. In 2013, they said that a then 14-year-old Jane and a then seven-year-old John were used by Haddish in skits she filmed. The siblings said Haddish told their mom she was taking them to auditions when in reality, she was having them film skits that were very and sexually inappropriate. One skit was called, and I can't read the full title because YouTube, y'all. But one skit was filmed called Through a P-Word's Eyes. Think about what we're talking about here the fact that first of all the, the fact that the skit is called this okay i'll get to my opinion by the end of this but i just want to give you the information which featured john a seven-year-old in the skit the comedian's young boy's mom who drops her kids off to spears who happens to be a p-word the disturbing skit featured the young kid not fully clothed and spears quote lusting over him Haddish and Spears removed the seven-year-old victim from his sister, placed him upstairs in a bedroom, and stripped the child down to his underwear. The suit read, The alleged victims are demanding unspecified damages. Haddish and Spears have denied allegations of wrongdoing. Haddish moved the case from state court to federal court. The federal court officials had temporarily sealed the complaint because it's con because it contains several photographs of a minor John in an undressed state. The judge told Haddish and the accusers to tell the court if they wanted to if they wanted it to be sealed or to be made public. Since John is still a minor, which says to me this video, but if you saw the video, you could tell this video wasn't done that long ago. So since John is still a minor, the parties agreed that the complaint should remain sealed because the photos in the lawsuit could identify him. The full public availability of the complaint could permit public identification of plaintiff John Doe and by association plaintiff Jane Doe. The filing read. Previously, Haddish powerhouse attorney Andrew Brettler said the alleged victim's mother had been trying to, quote, assert these bogus claims for years. The comedian said while the skit was intended to be funny, it wasn't funny at all. She says she deeply regretted having agreed to participate in it. John and Jane Doe wrote a letter to the judge recently explaining they were open to talking settlement with Haddish. They said part of the deal would have to be Haddish publicly apologizing for her role in the skits. They also want her to recant her allegations that they tried to shake her down with the suit. So here's the thing. A couple of different things. I want to know, is it true that Tiffany Haddish had taken these children from her friend, who she's known for many years, 
and film these skits without the parents' knowledge, that is already making me look at the whole situation with the side eye. No confirmation on if that part of the suit was accurate. But if you watch the skits, then you are highly disturbed as much as I was. Like, why would you even think that this, this was funny? The title alone, what you're asked to do in this skit, and these are supposedly your friend's children and you didn't tell your friend about this? Allegedly. Allegedly. Maybe she did. Maybe this was a shakedown. But you know who's innocent here? The children. The 14-year-old and the 7-year-old. And the fact that this 7-year-old is still a minor says to me, again, that this wasn't that long ago. And right now, I'm still giving Tiffany Haddish the side eye. Like, I did not expect this story. This, to me, just came, I was like, what? This can't be true. When I first saw the lawsuit, I said, this can't be true. Somebody's just trying to get money. But then the video surfaced. And we're like, Tiffany, why would you want to be a, a part of this? Ari Spears... Why would you want to be a part of this? But then a lot of you have digged up some other things that he's done to be funny. No word on what his move will be legally with this. I don't believe he's going to try and fight this in court. I know he's spoken out about this as well. More than likely, he will try and reach a settlement. Because, like, how do you argue this in court? There's literally video proof. This is probably one of the strangest stories I've had to report on when it comes to pop culture news. Because we have the proof. Of course, sometimes we, we just have the allegations and we don't have video evidence of this weird, strange skit that was meant to be funny. I don't understand or in anyone's mind, the person filming, the person who came up with the skit, the people acting in it, besides the minor children, because they're just there. I'm not surprised that Tiffany Haddish has decided to settle this out of court because how do you fight this in court? And I, I don't doubt that maybe the family was like, you're going to give us some money for this. But rightfully so. Those poor children might need therapy. And like I said, I want to know, is it true that Tiffany took these kids to do the skit without the parents' knowledge? That, to me, is a, a, the biggest part of the story, because if that is true, again, I'm still looking at you, Tiffany, with the side eye. Guys, I want to know your reaction to this whole situation. What do you believe? How do you feel? Have you changed your opinion on Tiffany Haddish? Some of you might say, well, I've noticed some weird behavior uh, from her before, so I'm not completely surprised. But we also have to keep in mind, Tiffany Haddish has, ever since Girls Trip, her star has been rising and rising and rising. So she didn't need this story. And, and like I said, do I believe the family had been trying to settle this out of court and they had to th put their hand out there and make this public in order for Tiffany to finally settle this situation? Probably. Guys, we're going to continue to follow this story to see what Ari Spears' settlement will be because I can't imagine him fighting this in court, especially after Tiffany Haddish, who actually has the money and the means to do so. And part of the reason why she might be doing this, and we've said this before when it comes to why people settle, is doesn't necessarily admit guilt. It's because it becomes a distraction, especially when your star is rising. Guys, let's continue this conversation below. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.